Welcome to another exciting episode of Lifestyle 011. I'm your host for tonight, Tawang Maitezo, bringing your favorite magazine show right here from the Soweto Fine Art Gallery, located on the busy street of Jan Smats. I'm sitting with the owner of the Soweto to Fine Art Gallery, Martin. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks, Tenga. I'm good, thank you. Can you tell us a bit about your gallery, please? Well, first of all, as the name says, Soweto to Fine Art, uh, we specialise in the fine art produced by the artists from Soweto. And what made you go into the arts and specifically choose art from Soweto? Um, I fell in love with the artwork from Soweto when I was about 16 years old. I bought my first piece uh, and ever since then I've been in love. I wrote a book which is titled South African Fine Art, The Soweto School. And basically what the book is about, it examines the parallels between the French Impressionists and the Soweto group of artists. And by doing this, we establish the Soweto School of Art. Just like they have the British School of Art or the German School of Art. And the Soweto School of Art is a movement on its own. What is so unique about the Soweto art? Well, Tango, first of all, um, the gallery is the cherry on the cake. Um, you know, I've been working with this, as I said, since 1985. Okay, and Soweto is a very unique place. If you look at Soweto and the history behind it, um, you know, I think most people won't know that the Second World War played a major role in the art that we have today. The discovery of gold um, and Soweto's history uh, brought about a new culture. And we all know this, Quito. Okay, um, and just like the music or the poems or the writing, you had the same development taking place in the visual art. And the kind of, what type of art do you have here? This, well, we all know it's from Soweto, but the different varieties. To give you an idea what the art is about, the artist told a story in the art, just like you have in the music, you would have a story being told. Now, if you look at the painting, in none of Peter's work will you ever see the black woman walking towards you. Okay, they are always walking away from you. Now, culturally, the black ladies were working in white homes. Now, what Peter was showing in his work is how the black mothers would be walking back towards their families, okay, and their children. Now, if you can also see so holding white rags in their hands, symbolizing peace. Now, as a white Afrikaans guy, uh, I was brought up by a black lady. And much of what I know today was due to what I was taught by Elizabeth. Now, the black mamas were keeping peace between the black guys and the white guys. And this is what this is all about. Can you please explain to that this wall is pretty interesting, it's very beautiful. What inspired this wall? Because it's got a lot of names in it. Well, when we found the premises, that wall was actually water damaged. And everybody said to me, we've got to plaster it up and fix it up. But I saw something different. The gold on the raw edges and starting from the bottom of the wall to me symbolizes the gold, the beauty, the value in the art. And the names on the bricks below is all the artists from the Soweto School, both guys that have already unfortunately left us and is in a better place, <laughs> and also the young guys. And by putting their names on the bricks, it just, to me, symbolizes the foundation of what the Soweto School of Art is built on. 
Yeah. And also, you know, all our new younger guys, to them all it's kind of a challenge to be able to come and write their name on a brick. A wall of faith. That's a wall of faith. If Hollywood can do it, we can do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks, Tenga. All the beautiful and talented fine works of the children of Soweto exhibited right here at the Soweto Fine Art Gallery. Unfortunately, that is all that we have for you this week. Please do tweet us at STV Lifestyle 011 to tell us what places, events or people that you'd like us to profile right here on Lifestyle 011. From me, Tan Laitezo, God bless. All the beautiful and talented fine works of the children of Soweto exhibited right here at the Soweto Fine Art Gallery. Unfortunately, that is all that we have for you this week. Please do tweet us at STV Lifestyle 011 to tell us what places, events or people that you'd like us to profile right here on Lifestyle 011. From me, Tony Naitezo, God bless.